Hi there, GMC, and welcome to my first session uh, with my new challenge to learn a hot country solo, and uh, it's by our own instructor, uh, Chris Schaffner. Uh, and yeah, uh, thanks for voting. Uh, I agree with the outcome of the vote because I also wanted to learn this lesson simply because uh, it's a style I'm not familiar with, but I should have some advantages because I've been practicing, you know, uh, hybrid picking for a long time. And I've always done try to do it like uh, super smooth, uh, you know. Ow. That kind of thing. Uh, I've never really been into, you know, the, the super, um, you know, snappy kind of country way of doing it. So I'm really looking forward to see if I can learn this killer solo. Uh, and um, here's what I got so far. So it starts with, with like a bend. And here I've learned that you can sort of pinch the notes. Oh, I've known that for a long time, but I haven't really thought of doing it for country. So you can pinch the note, sort of grab the string like that, and you get that super snappy uh, sound. You could probably do it with a pick and one finger. Uh, and then we have this. Oops. So I'm looking at the tab while playing this. Uh, so what I did was I started off by listening to the lesson a whole bunch of time. And before I even tried to play a lick, um, I, I would sort of try to see if I could isolate just one single lick that I could sort of hum and hear in my head. Because I found that uh, for me, you know, I practiced for, I played for over 20 years. So a lot of times, you know, the technical part might not be the, the tricky thing. The tricky part will be hearing uh, the phrase so that I understand the rhythm. Now I could have just opened the guitar profile and uh, I guess I would have been fine, but to me, uh, you know, as much as I love uh, how the guitar pro and how handy it is, it really lacks mojo. And uh, to be honest with you, I get really discouraged by trying to learn something from guitar pro because it sounds so crappy compared to the original. And the reason being, uh, that what really makes up a cool, uh, you know, cool guitar playing with any style, but especially this kind of country style, is all the nuances and how you pop the notes and, you know, the... the which you really can't get in a Guitar Pro kind of format. So I just listened to the, the lesson. I used the slow down functionality of the player. And I think the first lick I could really hear, uh, what was that? That was probably this part. So it's the end of the first kind of phrase. I just, that worked for me, so I could recognize that. So I didn't learn the solo from the beginning. Uh, I started with that. And then once I had heard the beginning of the solo a bunch of times, then I could actually sort of understand the melody of... Uh, But again, I think that what a lot of people do is they sit with a guitar profile and they look, oh, that's a 16th note, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I can play that. And, you know, that's fine. But uh, I don't think if I, if I learned things that way, I would sound more like a, you know, like a computer trying to play the solo. Whereas if I learn it by connecting with uh, my own musical sense, like, aha, uh -huh, I can hear that little melody, then... I immediately get a personal connection with the lesson. And maybe that's a bit slower way to learn the lesson, but I think in the end, every phrase I'm hoping is going to sound like I play them and like I mean them and not like, yeah, I'm playing these 16th notes and now I'm playing these eighth notes. So that's the kind of reasoning behind my, uh, my strategy there. Uh, so I don't know what more to say. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to continue working on this, and I predict that probably the hardest part is going to be, or at least for now, that's what I found, the, those kind of country bends where you bend a note, and then, yeah, that's hard for me. I've, not, I've done a little bit of that, but not much, um, and uh, there's some fast picking, 
but I have an advantage there. I've done that kind of stuff. So there's like, that's fine for me, even though I think Chris does them one, two, three, and then he does a hybrid uh, thing at the end. So but I think I'm going to cheat and I'm going to skip that because there's so many other things for me to focus on. And I think this sounds okay. So I'll just skip that. <laughs> And yeah, then there's a lot of open string pull-offs, but I haven't gotten to that part yet. So I'm just going to spend some time at the beginning now, see if I can get some flow. Uh, and yeah, one more thing that's definitely going to give me a problem is this. That kind of... So you're supposed to slide and then bend. I think it's like a... yeah, And then, you know, uh, you should kind of do a staccato note, like pop the note. And the tricky part here is when I'm bending, I'm actually disabling the possibility to play the next note because, you know, this bend mutes the next string, right? Here's how the next string sounds, the A string. So I'm going to somehow have to bend and then get rid of the bending finger so I can play the next note. That's going to be difficult for me. Um... But again, I, I have a big advantage because I've been doing hybrid picking for a long time. So I'm hoping that the transition into snappy country stuff is going to work for me. But God knows how long it's going to take. Um, we'll see about that. Um, but I really think that the biggest issue for me here is going to be to find a cool country sound. You know, I've already got a Telecaster, so that should be a start, I guess. I'm... I know that I'm supposed to use this pickup because that's where the twang comes from. And, you know, full tone, full volume, and try to play pretty close to the, to this part of the guitar, what's it called? <laughs> the, 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 I forgot about it. The, the bridge. And then uh, that, that, because you can hear. Here. I mean, it's pretty snappy all over, but I think you get most out of it back here. Though it's harder because you have more string resistance here. You can just try, you know, bending the string here. Whoops, isn't very hard. Whereas bending the string here is hard. Whoops. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of me to explore here. I hope you're going to stay with me and uh, follow me on my journey and maybe try to get some licks out of the lesson as well. Because like I told you in the thread there, I've never... Um, Learn. I haven't learned someone else's entire solo for over a decade, definitely, maybe more. Um, I've, of course, I've stolen licks and phrases here and there, but never in solo in its entirety. So uh, that's going to be uh, kind of new for me, and uh, it'll be interesting to see. So far, it's gone pretty well, but we'll see. My, my biggest enemy is usually myself. So if I get bored after a few days, maybe I won't be able to finish it in a convincing manner. But that's why I told you that I need to choose a solo that I'm really loving the, the groove of. Otherwise, I know that I'm never going to be able to keep it up for more than a few days. And a few days is usually not enough to learn a, a whole solo. So I'm going to need more time. And maybe this is something you can apply on your own playing as well. You know, if you know that you're chosen lessons because you think they were good for you and not because you love the sound of them, then you might get problems with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, to finish with what I was saying earlier, I also hope that maybe you can, even if you haven't got the shops to learn this specific lesson, maybe you can still grab some licks and just follow me on my journey, because that's usually how I learn stuff, except for this one time where I'm trying to learn a whole solo, usually I'm just grabbing licks and bits from the, the GMC lessons, That's and that suits me very well, because I can just take a short passage and I can play around with it in my improvising because that's usually what I do when I play lead guitar. I just jam around. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining me and uh, see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>